Franklin and Yolanda Adams, they need to create a different cat because you are beyond superstars. Aww. No, really, it, it's a it's a whole nother what you said dimension. Yes, you're on another dimension. And Kirk, I, I thought I knew everything about you, right? I thought mm. the joy that you lead with, how so funny. So did I. Is yeah. I thought I knew everything. <laughs> so did I. So did you. Yeah. You reveal what you called a cosmic car crash. The last time we were on, we were crying about your journey and you were talking about your adoptive mother and the journey of wanting to feel like you, were, you belong somewhere. And then you revealed to the world that you discovered the identity of your biological father and you documented the whole journey on Father's Day. Millions viewed it. Were you expecting that response? No. Really? No, and I wasn't expecting for the story to also be so fluid for so many other people to have the same experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, just not only uh, just not only marginalized people, you know, that, that, that come from uh, uh, the type of communities that I come from, but also people of other races uh, have, have had this tragic story of being lied to. And hmm. you, you grew up thinking one thing, which is already hard to grow up thinking right. that one. And it's funny because a lot of this happened right after I saw you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like this happened in the middle of working on the album. This happened in the middle of me just doing life. And, and so this has only been about six months. It's been six months. Rick Hubbard, biological father. And you talk about, he, he talked with you about his fraternity and y'all's relationship. Let's play the clip. The fact that I am a 53-year-old son, it is not something that I was looking for, but I am grateful that I have discovered that I do. I have enough room and enough love in my heart for you and whoever else you choose to bring into my life. Um, our hearts, our arms, and our doors are open to you. Wow. <laughs> um, you say in the documentary that you've only known a version of you that was broken. How, how does this feel now? Because it's only been, it's not even been a year. No, mm -hmm. no, no. And just because you get introduced to love doesn't know that you mean how to accept it. Yeah. And I spent 53 years of my life hating a man that I believed to be my father because he wasn't my father. And so you don't just psychologically go, oh, I can just throw that hate away. Yeah. Hey, dad, you know, it's like I'm still processing the fact that there was a man that went to his grave knowing that I hated him. And the fact that I lived all my life and 10 minutes away from me was a man that was my father. So where are you emotionally now? I know Yolanda calls, you're, you're, you say you're his big sister. Oh, and, and see and him go through this been. and you've she's known him. And so t where are you now with this? Because as I said, it's been some months. Yeah. Is it in a... She's always been a big sister to me. And, 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 and that's why I love our community yeah. so much mm -hmm. because they were my family. Mm -hmm. And you know, right now, my therapist is making a lot of money right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a lot of money, you know. And I say that jokingly to yeah, kind of keep from crying, but you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of the storm even as we speak, and I'm, mm. I'm, it's really one day at a time. It's one day at a time. Now, I love it. Now, let me put a little pin in here, because remember when we were in, I think it was San Diego, at the uh, Super Bowl gospel wow, celebration? 20 years ago. And remember there was someone that claimed to be and you told Donnie and I, I don't know how to feel. Yes. And I'm like, feel it all. Yes. Mm. Because yes. you have to. And that's such a good point. Thank yeah, you for that. You have it's, to. It's because sometimes in our faith-based community, mm -hmm. we're so quick to want to pray everything away. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you got to sit in it. Yeah. You got to sit in it. Oh, yeah. Which is why I think this, the Kingdom Business is such a great series because it does take you into the world, in a fictionalized world, but it reveals life is not perfect. You no. can't pray no. everything away. And no one could have done that role but Yolanda oh. Adams. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. You know, I'm honored to be, um, um, I'm an executive producer yeah. on the show with uh, Devon Franklin yeah. and Holly Davis Carter. And when we were able to get Yolanda, when, when, when we were able to, you know, to kind of yeah. snap her up, yeah. we just knew that we had some, because nobody can sing like Yolanda. Yeah. So we'd have to worry about somebody lip syncing, you know? <laughs> and then what she brings to the, uh, just, just to the character. To the character, Danita. Uh, we actually have a clip. Let's play it. All of our offers have left the table. Why? Because they found out you were lying about your amnesia. I can fix this. I'll make some calls. I'll do an interview. I'll even get a letter from one of the doctors in the congregation. Uh, uh, we already have a backup plan in place. 
We are going to sell the Danita Jordan song catalog. What? You can't sell my songs? Honey, those are not your songs. Those songs belong to the kingdom. <laughs> the great Loretta Devine plays yes. your mom. Yes, she does. I, this is great. So if this is like, uh, you know, dynasty meets yeah, a yeah, scandal yeah. meets imp it, This yeah. is juicy. This is yes. not yeah. playing it safe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, no, we can't play it safe because for so long we've hid behind the cloth. Uh -huh. We've hid behind the cross. We've hid behind so many things that people have started calling us out. It's, I think that people think that the doors of the church are like a magic door you walk through. The church is a hospital, and a hospital is always going to be full of sick people. people and patients. And so, you know, we, <laughs> we're just showing you what, what real people go through. Well, hopefully you come out of the hospital better. But hopefully. Exactly. That's the goal. You should. That's the goal. You should. You should. You should.